Daily Dopamine with Dr. Joe McCullough, where we deliver daily doses of education, entertainment, and inspiration. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. Oh, yeah. All right, welcome to the replay. And for those of you joining live, welcome. Silver Lining, Sergio, Tomato, it's Brandy. Welcome and happy Saturday evening. Good afternoon. It's the evening here. <laughs> good afternoon, actually. Good evening to you, Sergio. No worries. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Joe McCullough. I'm the physics program chair at Cabrillo College in Santa Cruz, California. I'm also best-selling author. Hey, Clickar! Best-selling author of Accelerated Learning Techniques for Students. Today is day 94 of my one-year commitment to get on Periscope every single day and share daily doses of dopamine through education, entertainment, and inspiration. Today, talking a little bit about five strategies to boost your willpower. How can you increase the amount of willpower you have? And there's lots of interesting research on it these days about how taxing actually using your willpower is to the brain. In fact, exerting self-control is one of the most intensive things the brain does. It uses glucose like crazy. So a little bit of background. Ken and Farm, welcome. Today we're talking about five cheated yesterday. That's okay. <laughs> five strategies for boosting your willpower. Okay. So yes, uh, strategy, a couple things. One, numerous studies have shown two things. One, we deplete our willpower reserves as we call upon them. Basically, the more we use our willpower, the less willpower we have for future tasks. And then two, we call upon our willpower constantly. We're constantly making decisions throughout the day. Should I do this or should I do that? Every time we use our willpower, it depletes that overall supply. Hey there, Rebecca, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Friday night. Today we're talking about five strategies for boosting your willpower. So here's a key, key concept, and there's hundreds of studies showing this. It says basically, when people exerted willpower on one task, they had less self-control for the next task. I can't even just quote all the studies, but there's been numerous studies that's shown if you have a group of participants Saturday night, yes, Rebecca, I lost my train of thought for a second. Okay, numerous studies have shown that if you give people a task where they have to use their willpower and then another task, every time you use your willpower, it leaves a little bit less for that next task. Basically, we're starting to deplete our willpower reserve. What's really happening in the brain is we're using glucose like mad, and the more you use your willpower, the less you have for other things. So let me give you, how do we recharge it? Excellent. So one, let me give you five strategies. Takes too much glucose. Yes, it does. So one thing you can do is maintain a healthy blood sugar content throughout the day. Those spikes that people have from eating sugary food. What if you're diabetic? Oh, that's a great question. And actually, I don't really know how to address that. So I'm going to have to just <laughs> say, I don't know. Okay. So are you there? Yes. Here are five strategies for boosting your willpower. One, tackle your toughest tasks early in the day when your willpower is strongest. If you do have a challenging thing that you know is gonna require self-control in the late afternoon or late evening, one thing you can do is try and eat a healthy snack like almonds or Greek yogurt or something like that, start to replace some of that glucose. But if you have a very challenging task, Think about doing it early in the morning. That's when your willpower is strongest. Stable blood sugar, it matters what you eat. Break the sugar addiction. Yes, those spikes in blood sugar, that constant up and down, wreaks habit on the body and it wreaks habit on the brain and also it wreaks habit on the thinking. So one, tackle your hardest tasks early in the day when your willpower is strongest. Two, and here's a great easy one, start your day with a couple of wins. Do something simple yet productive to start your day. Something as simple as making your bed, eating a healthy breakfast, going for a brisk walk. Starting your day with a couple of wins is a great thing to do. And for me, I'm trying to start the day without snoozing. 
This is a killer, and every time I'm a snoozeaholic, and every time I wake up and I hit the snooze button two or three times, to be honest with you, I feel like shit. I feel like I'm starting the morning already behind. It's just one of those ones where my willpower right early in the morning is not as strong as I would like it to be. Got to get out of that snooze habit. So for me, I'm trying to get up when my first alarm goes off. For me, that's a great win. Me too. Tip recap. Start off strong with happy, easy things. Thank you, Rebecca. I love it. Without snoozing, ouch, hard to do. <sighs> it is hard to do. And I have struggled with my snoozeaholic addiction for the last 40 years. <laughs> okay, I might be exaggerating a bit. But yes, think about just how nice it is to start the day with that initial boost of willpower where you're like, ah, I'm getting up. I set it to snooze three times. Yes, generally what I would do is if I had to get up at 7.30, I would set my alarm for like 6.55 and I would snooze and snooze and snooze. And actually that can actually start your day off badly because your body is starting to try and wake up and then you're sleeping again and starting to try and wake up and sleeping again. Much better just to get up right away. Okay, so tiny little recap, five strategies for boosting your willpower. The first one was tackle your toughest tasks early in the day. Two, start the day with a couple of wins, a couple easy yet productive things that you can do to start your day off right. Here's another great one. Three, engage in self-control workouts, meaning you can start to strengthen your overall willpower by training it. So if you have a big, big thing that you're trying to quit, let's say quitting smoking or something like that, you can actually start to train your willpower by taking small tasks of self-mastery. Choose something smaller and try and commit to maintaining that every day. What about doing acid? I don't know anything about that, so I can't comment on that. Meaning, so let's say I, for me, I'm trying to drink more water. So I'm making sure I drink eight glasses of water every day and every day I follow through, it's strengthening my willpower just that little bit. So yes, tackle hard things first. Start with small wins, train your power. Give yourself some self-mastery workouts. Train your willpower by just doing small things and then chewing self-control for those. Four, another big one is avoid rather than resist. Meaning, let's you wanna basically minimize your willpower expenditure by creating roadblocks to temptations. So for example, let's say you were trying to quit caffeine and you have a cup of coffee every single morning in Starbucks and you pass Starbucks on your way to work. Rather than trying to resist that temptation, avoid it altogether by taking a different route where you're not passing by Starbucks. Or let's say you were trying to quit smoking, you know you're about to go to a party where a bunch of your friends are gonna be smoking, really hard to resist, you might actually wanna think about just avoiding that altogether, at least during those initial tough periods. <sighs> and then last but not least, number five, treat yourself with kindness. We're all human, you're going to have setbacks. Anytime you do, avoid beating yourself up. Treat yourself the way that you would want to be treated. Treat yourself the way that you would treat a friend. Just recognize that we're all human, forgive yourself for having a temporary setback and then recommit to your goals. Okay, that was it. I'm trying to keep these scopes to about five minutes these days. JT, welcome. We are just about to do a quick little recap and then I'm signing out. Talking about five strategies for boosting your willpower. Quick thing to know is willpower does get depleted. The more you use self-control and essence, the less you're going to have in the future, we start to basically deplete our willpower reserves. Okay, so the very first one I said, one, tackle your toughest task early in the day when your willpower is the strongest. Two, where is number two? Start your day with a couple of wins, some small yet productive thing that you can do right when you wake up. It's great starting it with some wins. Three, engage in self-control workouts. Start trying to train your willpower by using self-control on something relatively small. Four, avoid rather than resist. Try not to resist, 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 resist. It starts to deplete that willpower reserve. Try avoiding 
try and make sure that you're not putting yourself in a situation where you're going to be stressed by trying to use your willpower constantly. And then last but not least, setbacks happen. Recognize that. Treat yourself with kindness. We're all human, especially if you have a big goal that you're trying to accomplish. Things are going to happen. Treat yourself with kindness. Pick yourself up and then try again. Cannon Farm, you are so welcome. Thank you all for joining. Again, my name is Joe, and today is 94 of my one-year commitment to get on Periscope every day. What's the secret behind your Periscope commitment? <laughs> That's a great question. The answer is I committed to it, and to tell you the truth, I've had some serious doubts lately about whether or not I'm going to be able to make 365 straight days. And if anybody tuned in yesterday, I did a quick little 40 second scope that just said, hey, it's day 93, I'm here. <laughs> Great scope, Joe, thank you, JT. So, mentioning that, if there's something that you really, really wanna do, commit to it, and then don't let anything get in your way. To be honest with you, I committed to this, and I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about for the next 200 days. I feel like I used a lot of my good material <laughs> early on. <laughs> but, Anyway, just takes willpower, it does. And in fact, part of the reason I did this was to help reclaim my willpower because it has been floundering a little bit lately, but 94 days in a row. All right, happy Saturday evening, Rebecca. Thank you so much. Early in the day, I will use my willpower. I will get up when my first alarm goes off. Okay, have a wonderful Saturday night. Thank you for tuning in. Occasional setbacks are okay. All right, thank you for joining and I hope